You have the happiest face I have ever met. Say hello, how's your family? Just great. <laughs> I'm happy right now talking to you. We did meet once before, you might not remember, because I'm not really sure whose party it was at, but we were both invited to meet the Princess of Monaco. Marvin Davis. Yeah, it was a really a big party, a lot, of, a lot of big names, and I was very thrilled that you insulted me at the very end. I don't I really remember what you said, but I, were, I was like shocked. I was just leaving for the car, and you shouted it out, and I thought, <gasps> And I made it, I'm in Hollywood. Rickles insulted me. You're single. I'm single? Were you starting it and insulting me already? Like you were no. gonna hit to the core? No. No, I was gonna ask you about that too, because you oh. married late too. Take a guess. How long do you think I'm married? Uh well. Tonight. Maybe. All right, all right, all right. I'm slow, I'm slow. <laughs> I'm gonna say 50 years, maybe. 51. 51? <laughs> and how did you meet your wife of 51 years? That was a Murphy case. <laughs> He said, I can't believe it. Johnny knows me so good. I'm going to be on TV. <laughs> Tell him what you told me, how you fed up with the show. <laughs> When you came out of high school, you started to be an actress? No, more in my 20s. I stayed in New York for a while. I joined a theater company. I did a bunch of plays off Broadway and eventually on Broadway. And then I came here. Well, got you, sucked was into was the... your family for that? Or? My mom said no. My mom was like, do something with your mind. She didn't know that it, it takes intelligence to, to be in our business. But actually, my mom was pretty funny. And I always think that I got some of my my timing and, and that zest for it from her. And it's, Same thing with me, with my Really? So she was funny and made you laugh, and then you in turn... Oh, well, she never made me up. laugh. Oh, no? <laughs> my goodness. What, what, you throwing a bucket of paint? Why don't you put a number on your back and get in a roller derby? You're a good-looking guy, Red. You look like Richard Harris, the actor. Have you ever been told that? No. Well, you don't, then. Your manager was just telling me one of the, your first uh, stops was a nightclub that now is a shul. That's right. In Brooklyn. <laughs> it's funny the way you know the word shul, the way you say it. You know? Being a Gentile girl. It's... Yeah, well, but I grew up in, in Brooklyn in the, in the heart of oh. Flatbush. There is a sense of where I was from and my particular family that, I, like all performers, like that's what influences us and coming out of that particular neighborhood in Brooklyn, which was very mixed, a lot of ethnicities, mm. which I think is so wonderful mm. for an actor to get to see all kinds of cultures and get to know and love all kinds of people. My whole life, my friends, has been dedicated to humor about ethnic backgrounds. And a wonderful man, Jack Benny, said to me once, in the Slate Brothers in California, he's gonna get killed. <laughs> I was very good in what they call joints, places that weren't exactly I, we might have that in common. I, I did play a stripper, and I know that you oh. worked in some in some strip joint, so I know a joint. Dean Martin has been a friend of many, many years. Dean, I, I say this from my heart, really. I've never liked you. Never. <laughs> I'd be so terrified to ever do stand-up. I like, or I don't know what you, you want to call it, like, I have text, and I can make something of it, but... Um, you didn't go to college or anything. I went to college for a year, and then I, I got a job on a soap opera, actually. So I thought it was gonna be like a short little thing, and then they extended my part, and I wound up not going back. You're doing Spider-Man. I am. A lot of physical stuff, right? I'm the, uh, I'm his advisor. Oh. Perhaps his guru. <laughs> Rat Race I did with Debbie Reynolds. Just as I played a, a gangster. I said, why don't you shut up? Bang, I physically slapped her. But you really, you, you really gave her a knock? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you say, like, uh, there's a statue of limitations. She was on her way on the floor for the count of nine. <laughs> <laughs> and I did Innocent Blood with John Landis. I did a John Landis picture. Oh, did you? Oscar. So what do we have in common? We have The Neighborhood, John Landis, strip clubs. And I'm successful on your strip clubs. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> gonna eat? Can I have that? <laughs> it's like a cheesesteak. Before you bite into it. Yeah. Wish you every success Thank to you, you and your family. Thank you. You're a pretty girl. Thank you. Don't marry a cameraman, a director, 
They're all trouble. Oh my God, I gotta get out of this business. <laughs> we had an album, Hello Dummy, in our house. So it was something that my brother and I listened to a lot. And then later I met him at uh, Marvin Davis's house. He stole the evening. It was a lot of hot shots and he was so incredibly funny and he personally insulted my boyfriend at the time as we were walking to the car. <laughs> he gets to that sensitive spot where he knows what's going on really deep inside you <laughs> and then kind of zings it. But in the way like only your family could do, but in the right way, you know, a loving family. What it do, it's your boy Big Snoop Dogg, and I need y'all to go subscribe right now to the AARP channel, you know what I'm talking about? So you can see Don Rickle and see his right-hand man, no, his left-hand man, Snoop Dogg, live and direct. Go subscribe right now, what you waiting on? What do you say? <laughs>